Right now we have a laptop which definitely looks sleek and elegant. It has a metal unibody and it is insanely slim and so the bezels are. It is ultra lightweight that is lighter than the MacBook Air. Its color is mocha brown which stands out among other laptops. And this is Jumper Tech EasyBook X3 Air. Hello Timinatics, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we have a new laptop and this is Jumper Tech EasyBook X3 Air. So I bought this at the official store of Jumper Tech on Shopee for 14,500 pesos or $247. I'll just put the link in the description if you are interested to buy. Now let's talk about the parts of this laptop and its specs. So this is the laptop it is 13.3 inches so this is IPS uh, full HD and I really love the screen and as you can see I have already put anti-glare film because without it it is really reflective so this is really useful so up above here we have the one megapixel camera so let's proceed on the side so this one is the charging port we have the 3.0 uh, usb a we have mini hdmi and lastly we have the type c which surprisingly i thought this is just for the transferring of data but when i tried to charge this using the charger of my smartphone it charges the laptop and also it is compatible for type c to hdmi connection now let's proceed on the other side of the laptop. So we have here a headphone jack. So we have 2.0 USB port. And lastly, we have the micro USB slot. At the back of the laptop, so we have here an SSD slot, which is M.2 SATA. And the size of this is 2280. And lastly, we have two speaker reels, which surprisingly sounds good. Now let's talk about the internal specs of the laptop. So for its processor, it has Intel Celeron N4120, dual band Wi-Fi, which are 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. Its memory is 8 GB RAM. It has internal storage of 128 GB. Its Bluetooth version is 4.2. Its battery capacity is 4250 mAh. I have been using this for two months already and surprisingly, I haven't noticed lags while browsing the web, watching YouTube videos, and opening some documents. However, doing all those tasks make the device hot since this is fanless. But what does this device do is that it dissipates the heat evenly since this is all metal body and it that the heat doesn't concentrate on a specific part of the laptop which is good now let's talk about the pros and cons of this device so for the pros is that number one it really looks premium and upon holding it it doesn't feel cheap at all so if you're going to work outside like coffee shop or other places well definitely this device is really presentable so another good thing in this device is that they did not put a jumper text here instead they put logo and you don't know this logo it seems like part of the aesthetic of this device and the color is unique and it looks like a uh, rose gold in apple next Watching Netflix, YouTube, and the like is so satisfying here because this is full HD or it has 1080p resolution which produces sharp and vivid images. Everyone here is the best there is. Who the hell are they going to get to teach us? Captain Pete Lambert 
Mitchell. Let me be perfectly blunt. You are not my first choice. You are here at the request of Admiral Kazansky, a.k.a. Iceman. He seems to think that you have something left to offer the Navy. What that is, I can't imagine. And lastly, the portability. It only weighs 1.06 kilograms, and like what I have said earlier, it is lighter than the MacBook Air. Now let's proceed on the cons. So the first one is the Wi-Fi. It is short range where it can only connect for about 10 to 15 meters, but if you go beyond that range, somehow your laptop gets disconnected. Next is slow charging. From 0 to 100%, you can fully charge your device for two and a half hours. This was the first time I opened the laptop and using the device outdoors, it's kinda annoying because as you can see, it's really reflective. It seems like a mirror to me where you can see yourself. Even you set the brightness to highest level, still, you can see yourself. And lastly, the battery. It can only last up to approximately 5 hours with continuous use. Overall, I'm satisfied with the performance of this device, considering its price. Now, the question is, would I recommend this? Well, it depends. I recommend this to people who are on tight budget but want to have a premium looking laptop then this is the perfect device for you. It is great for watching Netflix, doing some documents, or browsing the web. But you know, if money is not an issue for you, then go find something else with better processor. As of now, uh, Intel Celeron 4120 performs well, but in the next few months or years, I don't know how would it perform. Well, this is the end of my Jumper Tech EasyBook X3 Air review. I hope to see you again on my upcoming videos. Thank you guys for watching. Bye! Ooh.